Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea. Um, if you are a first time subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So let's get right into this today. As you can see by the topic, I would like to discuss finding a therapist that works for you. Um, <clears throat> as you all know, um, I am on a healing journey um, from childhood sexual abuse and rape and also physical abuse as well, which I haven't quite gotten into yet, but I will. We're going to do a story time on that. Um, and so, yeah, let's get right into how I went about finding a therapist. This is something that I've been working on for the past, I would say, two weeks. And um, so uh, the process that I recommend, um, and it was highly effective for me, is first and foremost, um, starting with your family doctor, um, seeing if they have any therapist that they recommend. And that's just their recommendation. You want to do your research, you know, uh, they have websites um, that you can go to and you can uh, look at these therapists, look at reviews. Um, you can actually filter through the therapist um, to cater to your specific needs. Um, one website that I highly recommend uh, that I found useful for myself was um, uh, Psychology Today, psychologytoday.com. There you are going to find uh, psychologists, therapists all over pretty much the world. Um, and you can filter to a specific area if you would like um, that's near you. Uh, they also offer online therapy, telehealth. Uh, you can also, you know, whatever you are struggling with, you can filter that um, so that it can narrow um, your needs down to a specific doctor. Uh, for instance, if you are struggling with anxiety, depression, trauma, OCD, um, obesity, eating disorders, addictions, anything, you can filter down um, to doctors that will specifically meet your needs. Um, you can even filter down um, to a specific religion. You can filter down um, even for race. You know, if you prefer um, a doctor um, that is a specific race, you can, you can filter it down on that website. Uh, there also is another website that I recommend, and it's called Therapy for Black Girls. Um, <clears throat> and this uh, website here is, you know, the name says it's, it's uh, therapists that um, are women of color, you know, and so I found that to be quite nice. Um, and so, yeah, so you want to start there. You want to contact your insurance company um, because you can get a list of therapists that accept your insurance, you know, before you even start your search. And, um, you know, then go online with the, the list, you know, look at the reviews, look at what those doctors offer. Is this a doctor that you think would work for you? If not, that's fine. There are so many more options, you know, for those who don't have insurance or, you know, have little to low income or your insurance just isn't the best for therapy needs, uh, check your local community health center. Lots of times the community health centers um, have doctors that are contracted with the health centers that will help you and work with your income needs. Um, you know, call around to some of your churches. Uh, there's funding out there um, for people who are, have low income or their insurance just isn't covering what they need when it comes to uh, seeking therapy. So uh, that is step two. Check with your insurance company. Your insurance company also has an online portal, physician portal. So if you go to your insurance company, to their website, they have a listing of physicians that, um, you know, will take your insurance on the website. So you can also search that way if you don't want to call them. So yeah, so once you've found your doctor, like I said, go ahead, set up the appointment. Don't wait. Um, I myself scheduled with three different therapists. You know, one may not work for me, and that's fine. Um, I do find that uh, for me, I was held back uh, for quite some time uh, with finding a therapist because there are a lot of therapists. There are a lot of therapists. And so there's just so many to pick from. And so I just, I said, you know what? I'm going to pick three. I'm going to schedule with all three and I'll see how things go and go from there. And so, you know, that's an option, uh, but start somewhere, start somewhere. You know, we all, I know for myself, I decided to take this step and um, seek therapy. 
because I tend to get in my head. I tend to get into my own thoughts and, you know, things get all scrambled around and I begin to question myself. And um, that's a bad habit that I want to stop doing. You know, I, I need, I really need to take all the steps necessary um, in this healing journey to be successful um, and meet my goal. You know, I am um, excited uh, to share with you guys that things have been going really well um, as far as mentally this this entire journey is it's really um i can see you know my mind healing my my emotions healing you know um that's something i want to get into um emotions you know people being comfortable with showing your emotions you know i find that society has hardened people and um people are scared to really show how how they really feel and that's just something some per, somebody that i've never been i'm completely comfortable with being vulnerable, you know, um, being 100% myself, whether it be through crying, um, anger, whatever, you know, you need to express those emotions, get them out of you, you know, so that you can move forward. You know, when you hold that baggage in, uh, whew, it's like, you know, a soda, it's like a soda. You shake that soda up, you are holding that stuff in. You're holding it in and it's building, and it's building, and it's building, and you're never releasing. And eventually you're just gonna explode. You're just gonna explode. You know, whether it be through uh, anger, you're more than likely going to have an outburst where somebody may or may not get harmed. Um, sadness. You are more than likely, if you hold that in, you are more than likely going to become depressed. You know, uh, and so these are things that you don't want to, you know, hold inside of you. But I find that, you know, society looks at crying as a weakness. It is not a weakness. If you need to cry, cry, okay? And then you pick yourself up and you move on, okay? That's what we're doing over here. We're going to pick ourselves up. We're going to work through our um, emotions, process them, and move on. It's just that simple. So, yeah, Community Health Center, once again, if you do not have health insurance or your insurance just isn't, enough for you needing therapy reach out to your community health center they have so many programs that a lot of people just don't know about uh your local churches you know you'd be surprised at what you can find so with this being said i hope that some of these steps can help you find the therapist that you need and um with that being said you guys therapy is okay it really is therapy was a game changer for me it changed my life literally Literally, you know, because for so long, you know, it was, we didn't go to therapy. Oh, you don't go to therapy. No, trust me. It changed my life for the better. It was one of the best things that I did, like in my late thirties, you know, and so I'm excited to be returning back uh, to explore this option. So I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you guys are doing well and you have a blessed day. Shalom.